Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous video, I talked about creating parameterized Excel reports that connects to SQL Server and bring only the filter data. Here, what I did was I I made this configuration of you know applying this employee ID and getting only the respective record for that particular employee ID. So if you apply 10 here, you will get the record of employee 10. If you apply 100 here, upon refreshing it, you will get the record of 100. If you put 50 here, you will get the particular record of 50th employee ID. Okay, so that's, you know, getting picked up randomly and dynamically. Today, we'll see how to execute a stored procedure. So in my previous video, we saw a similar example where we tried to, you know, execute a stored procedure. And, you know, uh, the normal calling of stored procedure is a bit different. You have to like the way in SQL Server you do exec execute and the stored procedure you can execute the stored procedure with a parameter okay but uh, if you want to make it configurable again like uh, like uh, let's see the data connection that we used here so i will i will let me open this and see uh, if this was the yeah so this was the stored procedure so this is the way you know you execute the stored procedure with a uh, with a static parameter but let's say if you again want to parameterize it like the way we did in our table how you can do it so uh, i'll open a new sheet here okay and uh, i'll again try to create a new connection from microsoft query okay and i'll click on sql server local and okay and here you know rather than selecting a table i'll click cancel and it says that do you want to continue editing this query in microsoft query i'll say yes and here I'll uh, close this and open the SQL query and what I'll do is I'll uh, so normally uh, if you have a static parameter like 16 or, th or 3 you can just copy this but if you want to make it configurable so this is the syntax you have to use curly braces right like this call the then the USP get manager employees and for this particular value you have to provide the question mark in parenthesis round brackets and then the curly bracket so what i'll do is i'll copy this okay and paste it here continue anyway i'll click okay and parameter value one i'll give right now three so let's say let's see what exactly we get with three three we get around 13 records okay and i'll click okay so it shows me 13 records and i'll go back to you know sql return data to microsoft excel here i won't be clicking on okay and what i'll do is i'll click i'll go to properties and definitions tab here what i'll have to do is i'll have to associate this question mark with a particular cell so i'll click on parameters and i'll choose the third one get the value from following cell and on clicking this icon i'll select this particular cell and i'll again expand this one and click ok now it says me where now i'll again click ok and it asked me where to dump the data so as i've selected this cell so what i'll do is i'll make make a space of one line and i'll dump the data from here below and i'll click ok so right now there is no particular employee in this particular cell as i selected this so what i'll do is i'll i'll make this cell look like as a box and i'll put employee id text here and if you put three and do a refresh it will give you records of three see and if i'll you know select 16 here right you will get only eight records so if you uh, go ahead and instead of six three you put 16 and refresh it you'll get only eight records right and let's go and see 400 what we get here is only one right so this is the way you can you know create a parameterized stored procedure that gets you dynamic data based upon the parameter you pass so point to remember you have to use this particular syntax for calling a stored procedure if you want to make it dynamic for a static stored procedure you can just use exec and the stored proc name but for a stored procedure that takes dynamic parameters and if you want to call it from us from an excel sheet you have to use this syntax curly braces call stored procedure name then within bracket the question mark and then the closed curly bracket so i have uh, i've also copied this 
syntax in the detail section below you can use it thank you very much for watching this video please like the video if you really like it please subscribe thanks a lot have a nice day